This is Dana Probert. I'm Technical Marketing Manager for Civil Engineering at Autodesk and today I want to talk a little bit about object projection for Civil 3D 2010. I wanted to show you a few of the things that you might be able to do with the new object projection feature in Civil 3D 2010. You may have seen demos where we project tree multi-view tree blocks onto a profile view or a section view or three-dimensional cars or hydrants which is really cool stuff and and might help make some uh, exhibits or documentation but let's look at some tricks that might might be more useful in design scenario so I have a profile view down here and these styles are all from the UK country kit I believe they're from last year's UK Country Kit, but I'm sure similar styles are also in this year's. So I have a profile down here, and then I have, you know, my alignment in plan. Now next to my alignment, I have this thick um, green line that is an existing gas line. It just represents an existing gas line, and it is a feature line. So when I click on it, I can tell it's a feature line because I get that context-sensitive ribbon um, for feature line. So let me zoom out a little bit again and I'm going to click on the profile view and I get an option for project objects to profile view. So I'm going to press that and then click on the feature line that I want to project onto my profile view. Press enter. It brings up a dialog. I get a few options here of what what elevation I want to use. So my feature line already has elevations that I've assigned to it, but I could also use this opportunity to leave the feature line where it was and and use the existing ground elevation or actually use um, one of the profile elevations as well. So I'm just going to say use, uh, use the object and the elevation varies and I press OK. So I get my feature line projected into profile view which is cool in itself, but the really neat thing here is that if I do grip edits to my feature line in profile, then it will apply to the feature line itself. So let me pull up the elevation editor. Bring that back into our window, but don't dock it. And when I grab that feature line, I'll be able to see in the elevation editor, you can see those changes, right? So think about this for maybe gas lines and all the stuff that we don't have great automatic ways to get to show up in profile view but also think about your conceptual grading perhaps uh, maybe parking lot grading if you maybe want to turn this into a profile so that you can do some corridors with it maybe you want to target this feature line so a lot of really neat ideas here about what you might use object projection for now another idea is I just have a simple block it's just a regular block and it's not terribly smart you know it's not um, attached to this intersection location or anything but let me stick that there so I just have a little block that I've placed um, in plan where my alignment intersects another alignment and if I pick on that profile view I can do my project objects to profile view, pick my circle here, and instead of using the object, because I've just slapped it in there at an arbitrary elevation, you know, elevation zero, I want to say use the Parker Road um, vertical profile elevation. So it's actually going to get its elevation information when it's projected from the layout profile. So if my layout profile changes, you know, the elevator will move with my with my um, with my P, uh, profile, okay. And I've changed, adjusted the style so that it doesn't show the same circle in profile. It just shows a marker and then has a label that calls out the station and elevation there. So if I decided to move my alignment. And I know some of you guys out there will be able to come up with hacks to make maybe this more dynamic, not hacks, workflows, right? And there we go. So now this was something that I always wanted to keep track of 
when and it often had to be labeled as a requirement for plans was what's the the station and elevation of when where those roads come in and intersect so play around with this uh, see what you can come up with and I'd love to hear your ideas thank you very much